Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Classic Mode. Today we're going to be playing as the purple dragon space pirate thing from Metroid, whose name is Ridley. I actually don't really know what Ridley is. I know he's like, I know he's a space pirate, I know, but I'm not sure if he's classified as a dragon or not, given the fact that, well, Ready? this should Go. be the final boss for Ridley. <laughs> this should be the final boss for Ridley, not the first fight. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Thanks, Alucard. I was about to say, I don't really know what's going on at the moment because I'm losing. But, uh, Alucard, uh, Al oh, wow. I, wow, that was bad. Can I get, like, a normal map, dude? What the frick? Freaking giving me these freaking stages that suck. What the? F <laughs> so that first fight went real bad, and this uh, this the, the next one went real fast. What the? F Can I have a regular stage, please? Stop throwing your damn Pikmin at me! It's annoying. So the reason I made that weird huh noise was I was surprised that the sun thing somehow ended up on the bulb orb. Dude. How, how dangerous is a walk off for Ridley? Too dangerous. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought was gonna happen! He lived too, That's the worst part about it! Okay, so no usage of side B on this map, gotcha. Almost side beat there. Ready? Go. Ow. Ow. Hey, no, don't you leave me, damn it. What you think for the take off with cotton? Uh, uh, but I didn't do anything. I did it. What? Ready? Go! Ooh. Oh, I got scared there for a minute. I thought we were. I thought things were about to go very badly again. Go. 
I like how Ridley doesn't even really run. He just starts, like, flying, basically, on the ground. I mean, look at that. His feet aren't even touching the floor. What well, looks like is what, what, like a toe is touching the floor is what it looks like. is just like giant actually he's freaking huge i think he's taller than ganondorf in the game too i think he's actually the tallest character in the game when he's standing up straight do you know when he like hold on when he hold on let me see if i can no nope, wrong one R wrong one there we go <laughs> i mean he's just over here taunting on freaking master hand and crazy hand oh no not this attack damn it Wait, no, no, Ridley, what are you doing? <laughs> no, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Ow, my face. No, stop. Ow, my face. Stop, no, stop, no. Ow, 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 Wait, please! That one was a little bit unfair, but okay. Spam neutral air. Ow, ow, ow. That doesn't have a hitbox on it. Because it's a grab. <laughs> okay then, I'll take it. No, no, wait, this is unfair. Wait, 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 ow! Stop! Stop! No! Enough! I've had enough of you! Now get out of my- I still haven't finished beating, I still haven't beat Metroid Prime yet, finished beating, what am I on about? I still haven't beat Metroid Prime. I think the closest I've ever gotten to beating any of the Prime games was Prime 3. On the Prime Trilogy, because I own the Prime Trilogy. I don't have the original box for it, but I do own the Metroid Prime Trilogy. It's quite the rare game nowadays. We also have Metroid Prime Remastered on Switch, which I need to like actually go back and finally freaking beat, because it's actually a very fun game. I don't know why that song came to mind, it just did. Like, I'm actually confused as to why I just started, like, doing that. That was... why? <sighs>
Okay. I'm not gonna use it as a thumbnail. I don't really like that. Final results. <laughs> who is that? Now wait hold on a minute. Who who is who is this man? I don't know who that is. Classic mode! <sighs> uh, somehow Richter is still our uh, our best one. I don't know how that happened, but it is still there. Uh, so now we are missing what? Pack, Duck Hunt, Inkling, and K. Rule. I think are the only ones we're missing. Uh, and Piranha Plant. I always forget about Piranha Plant. Always forget about this character. Because nobody plays the damn character. Nobody plays Piranha Plant! I've never seen anybody play Piranha Plant! I remember when Piranha Plant came out, everyone was like, Hey, yeah, Plant Gang! And then after a few weeks, nobody gave a damn about Piranha Plant because Joker came out, and everyone was super freaking hyped for Joker. Ugh! I remember how angry Viva were when Byleth came out. And... The Smash community was kind of split on Pyramithra. Some people really liked the fact that Pyramithra was in the game. A lot of other people didn't like that Pyramithra was in the game. I know people were super excited for Sora, super excited for Sephiroth, super excited for Steve. It was kind of just a meh on Minwin. Uh, people were not excited for Byleth. Terry was a person people were excited for. Banjo was a character people were excited for. Joker was a people character uh, people that 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 that. Uh, a Joker was a character people were excited for. And I think Hero is kind of a mixed bag as well, because not a lot of people... Uh, well, I think it was more like a, this character is more popular in, in Japan than it is in other countries. Probably because Dragon Quest is a lot more popular in Japan than it is in other countries. But a lot of people were excited for Hero because Dragon Quest XI was a great freaking game. If you haven't played Dragon Quest XI, play Dragon Quest XI. Dragon Quest XI is great. Right? If you haven't played Persona 5, what are you doing? Dragon Quest XI is great. I've never played this. If you haven't played Three Houses, it's great. Uh, Final Fantasy VII, the original, not the remake. Play it. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, there is not a game that I will recommend more. This is probably one of... Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is probably one of my favorite games of all time, if not my favorite game of all time. It's kind of hard because I always... I change my mind depending on the day between Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Xenoblade Chronicles 3, which is my favorite game. Uh, but they're still at number one, number two for me. Those two games are just freaking awesome. Right? I, I love, I love the story of Chronicles 2. The story of Chronicles 3 is even... Well, that's not better. I wouldn't say it's necessarily better. I mean, I do like the story of, of 3, but... Eh, I guess you could necessarily... Depending on what you like, I guess it's more like... Slightly more mature than Chronicles 2. Well, this, yeah. It's still a really damn good story. The only problem with Chronicle or with Chronicles 3 in terms of story is the main villain isn't really there for a lot of the game. They don't really explain a lot of what the villain actually is compared to, for example, Zanza and Malos, who are definitely super... Like, they delve deep into those characters very well, especially characters like Jin. Uh, but then again, you have N who is a really, really good villain from beginning to end. Uh, you see, I've, I've started talking about Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and everything else just went out of my mind. Again, Smash will introduce a lot of people to a lot of different games, and people will end up loving those games. For example, Smash introduced me to Xenoblade Chronicles, to Fire Emblem, to Persona, to Dragon Quest, uh, to Final Fantasy, uh, not to Zelda, I was playing Zelda way before, to Metroid, yeah, uh, to Star Fox, yeah, to Kid Icarus, definitely, um, 
Metal Gear. Not Animal Crossing. Uh, Pikmin. Anyway, we're going to end today's episode here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please share the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified when I, get that, when I make a new video. I upload a new video every single day of the week at 5.30 p.m. EST. Uh, today's question of the day, which of the original Space Pirates is your favorite? So, I believe that's Ridley, Craig, Mother Brain. Right? There's only three of them in the original. And... Because I'm basing this off of Zero Mission from memory. Um, Norfair, you start with Kraid, you take out Kraid, then you take out Ridley, and then that opens the path into Mother Brain. Where's my phone? I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to look this up. Uh, Craig, Ridley, Mother Brain. Yeah, so Craig, Ridley, Mother Brain. Those are the three original space pirates. Ugh. Or the space pirate bosses. I don't even know what to call them. But they're, they're, they're like the space pirate guys. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Classic Mode.